6-2 homework with me, Miss Billman, Anna Graham, and Winnie, because they're sitting with me doing this. So when we are talking about volume, normally volume has different meanings, like turn up the volume, turn down the volume. Um, we saw volume in our NASA's best challenge, dealing with a cylinder. This time, we're looking at rectangular prisms and cubes um, that might have fractional edge lengths. Oof. Fractions. Remember, we can't outrun them, so we need to embrace them. And I love baking, so I really, really enjoy fractions. Mostly because I like eating what they make. So, I multiply 1 by 1 by 1, knowing volume is length times width times height, and I get 1. So, I read it as 1 unit cubed. This time, I have... 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 third, a fractional unit. So it's still 1 third because I'm multiplying 1 third by 1. That doesn't change anything. This next one is 1 third multiplied by 1 third multiplied by 1. I multiply across knowing my denominator will be 9, but 1 ninth multiplied by 1 ninth, well that just equals 1 ninth. That doesn't change anything. So my volume is one ninth unit cubed. One third multiplied by one third, one multiplied by one third. This is like saying three times three times three, which ends up being one twenty seventh cubed. Wow, that is very, very small. And this might be one twenty seventh of an inch, of a mile. We don't know. It's just labeled unit, but that totally works. Number two, one foot by one foot by one sixth. That's one sixth feet cubed. Notice I'm still giving the feet cubed. Um, but I'm also still going through and multiplying with my one of a numerator over denominator of one. So one half multiply one half multiply one one fourth multiply by one. Well that's only one eighth um, because I multiply by denominators of four and two and get eight. 3 fourths times 1 fourth times 1 third. So 3 fourths multiplied by 1 fourth gives me 3 sixteenths. Multiply that by 1 third, I would have 3 16 times 3, 16, carry the 1, so 48, 3 48 And actually, this could be um, taken down to um, 1 and 1 16th feet cubed, knowing that 3 is the biggest number that goes into 3 and 48. 1 by 1 by 0 0.5, that is 0 0.5 meters cubed, because that decimal, which would be equal to half, is still multiplied by 1. 0 0.06 multiplied by 0, or sorry, 0 0.6 multiplied by 0.8 by 1. I really just need to focus on the um, other decimals. So this is 0.48 or 48 hundredths meters cubed. So I multiply these together. I might start with the 3 and the 6. So I know that is going to give me 18 hundredths. I multiply that by 2, but I'm going to give myself some more room. So 0 0.18 multiplied by 0 0.2. There's 16, carry the 1, 36, 0. There are three numbers behind decimals, so I get an answer of 0 0.036 meters cubed as my answer for the total volume. A plastic box in the shape of a rectangular prism has a base that is 7 and over two inches by five over two inches and a height of one half inch. How many cubes which with edge lengths of one half inch would it take to fill the plastic box? I'm a visual person so I will almost always draw a picture just so I can see it. This will also help me with these crazy lengths of like five over two and seven over two. So I know my height is half of an inch which was like not, uh, which is not very um, tall, but the nice part is because I know they are asking about cubes, so they have all the sides equal, 
cubes that are, are one half inch in side length. Um, this makes it easy to fit in there. So my friend, I have marked off seven spaces. I'm going to go ahead and label them one over two, two over two, three over two, four over two, five over two, six over two, seven over two. So I'm imagining each measurement of my, um, of my cube, my box. On the left hand side, you'll see me label one over two, two over two, all the way up to five over two. This is reflecting the measurements that was given to me. So if each of these cubes that they want me to fit in there is half of an inch, well, I just, I can count those because there's seven on the um, length and five on the width. I multiply that, seven times five, 35, two times two is four, and then I multiply that by one half, and I get 35 over eight, so that end being four and three eighths inches for the volume, but to know how many half of inch cubes I can fit in there, I can count. So there's seven that can fit across, five that can fit back, seven times five equals 35, with a total of 35 cubes I can fit there, because they are already half of an inch, so I can't stack them on top. So now I need to think of a length times width times height combination that could equal 8 over 100. Now there are many possible answers, these are just the ones I came up with. You may agree with them, you might have your own, that's great too. So if I have 4 tenths multiplied by 1 half, because that would give me 4 over 20. So to get from 4 to 8, I'd have to multiply by 2, and 20 to 100, I'd get 5. So then I get a total of 8 over 100, which is what this had asked me. So now I need another set of measurements that could um, multiply all together to get 8 over 100 feet cubed. So we'll go with 1 fourth. So if I have a 1 numerator, 4 denominator, I need to make my way to 100. So 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 2 is 2. So to go from 20 to 100, I need a 5. And from 2 to 8, I need a 4. So multiply that by 4 fifths, and you got yourself a done deal with 8 over 100 feet cubed.